This is iPhone SE 2020, an entry-level iPhone that only costs 399 US dollar. This will replace my OnePlus 6, an Android phone that I've been using for last two years. For past eight years, I've been using Android phone only. So I'm curious to see how easy it is to migrate from Android to iOS ecosystem. Let's find out. Hello everyone, welcome to In Production. So today I brought a iPhone. This one is iPhone SE 2020 version. It just dropped. Um, the reason I'm getting this instead of waiting for uh, the iPhone, new iPhone 12, it's supposed to be smaller, uh, bigger display. Uh, is because two reasons. One is too expensive. It's a thousand over thousand Canadian dollars, and I don't want to spend like that much of money on a phone. And two, because my old phone is starting to die. So it's Android phone. It's OnePlus Six. Yes, OnePlus Six. I bought it two years ago. Android phone I've been using from Samsung, LG uh, for the last eight years. They have all same common problem. After two years or so, they start to drop their signal power, which I mean, any wireless communication, uh, like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and cell phone data, those drops uh, their signal significantly after two years or so. And starting to having that, and even GPS sometimes doesn't work on this one properly. It doesn't know where it's north and south and west. So that's a big problem for me because I use GPS a lot. So this is their uh, cheapest version, 64 gigabyte red. I got the red because I was hoping it can actually help COVID situation a little better. The different thing about previous generation of entry level of iPhone compared to this one is that this one actually comes with very fast pro processor. Same thing that comes in the iPhone 11 Pro. It just have a smaller battery, smaller screen size. So it got some kind of easy manual, product red. Um, that's French version, uh, here is Canada. Welcome to iPhone. Ah, oh, Simpin, this I need this. Um, and the uh, Apple sticker. I don't know who actually uses this. Why, why do they even give it to you? Put it on your laptop? But doesn't laptop already have an Apple logo? Like a MacBook? And here's the actual phone. Ooh, look at that. I like the red. It's it's like a metallic red finishes. That looks nice. Okay. See how easy it is to actually switch to iOS right away. Okay, I, I got booted up. Hola. Ooh, I like the vibration feeling. The, it's much better than what I had. That vibration feels really good. So, this is not my first iPhone. Uh, I had iPhone before. Uh, I had iPhone 3GS. So it was back in 2009, like 10, something like that. For me, it was okay, but at the same time, it was kind of disappointing. At, at, at the time, iPhone was a really, really expensive thing. $1,000 for 32 gigabyte. I think I had like 32 gigabyte or something like that. Hmm, move data from Android. Yeah, move from Android. If you have an Android phone or a tablet, you can transfer your photos message and more iPhone. Download them, move to iOS app on your Android device and get started. Uh, so I have to download the app on my Android. Okay, so before I continue, I want to like put a cover on it. I actually bought a, a cover Ooh, already from Spigen. Where's my Android? Right away, this is much, much lighter, even with the case on. So much heavier. So move to iOS. Let's see how smooth the experience is. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Find your code. 509927. Okay, it's connecting. Okay, 
We say it's gonna take half an hour, so I'm gonna be back in half an hour. Okay, so I think the transfer is done. It actually didn't take 30 minutes, it took me like a 10 minutes. Um, okay, done. Transfer complete, okay. Transfer, transfer complete. You want me to sign up the Apple Pay? Mm, yeah, why not? Let's do that right now. Okay, got the details. Siri set up. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Oh, it has a true tone display too. Okay, that's pretty cool. Appearance. You can choose how strong the home button haptic feels like. Okay, I like the middle. Welcome to iPhone. Ta-da. So, yeah. Oh yeah, the SIM card. Right. I'm gonna... Like I said, they all have common problem with the cell phone signal, like wireless signal in general. Um, for example, Android is very not compatible with uh, any of the film equipment that has like cellular connection together. I initially I had pro like big problem with my gimbal, as you, you can see here, uh, to connect to this phone does just wouldn't connect. I have to borrow my um, my parents' iPhone to connect, update the firmware, and stuff like that. So it was a little difficult. Huh. You know what I like? I really like the fact that they actually uh, put an effort to make SIM card red aluminum cut. SIM card in. Did I have to put it this way or that way? this way let's test some uh, photos new quick take video tap hold the shutter to record a quick video drag the shutter to left two for the burst okay photo take good this one kind of looks I like the photo it looks pretty good my screen Taken. Um, unfortunately, this one doesn't have like dual camera or anything. But when I was using this phone, even like dual camera wasn't that important for me. Let's take some uh, portrait photo. Um, for entry level phone, I think it's the experience is smooth, uh, super fast. Camera is good enough for at least for me. The I have my professional camera right here. I don't need to have 4K 60 Smart HDR. I don't need all those. Like I don't need like multiple lenses. I never, I never even use this multiple camera right here. Anyways, like I just take take. I okay. Only reason I'm using this is like I have to take a snapshot of the product, put it on an Instagram, and that kind of stuff. So it's okay. Um, one thing I'm kind of missing out is a screen to body ratio, but like it's not a too biggie. I think the interface is pretty good. Uh, I have to check until I should stop saying until I actually go full review. But uh, first impression, it's very smooth experience. Uh, the display, I don't think it's lacking in any way. Yeah, I like it. I like it really. Oh wow, it already sync up all my photos. Like by the days and months and that's amazing. I'll say that's a very smooth experience. So, so far so good. Uh, I'm gonna use for a while, uh, put a review on it. What I like, what I don't like, uh, what I'm missing out from this on Android, what I'm not missing on from this Android, that kind of stuff. So stay on and that's been it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.